Hey ho, what's up guys? This is Coach Travis and I'ma show you my journey of learning a double cork 1620. So I've had this trick for a couple of years in my head and never really had a risk-free opportunity to try it out. But then the banger puck presented itself with the huge airbags so I was able to go there and finally try myself chasing this trick. As usual, I started the session off by warming up with some basic doubles just to get myself going. I was just doing a couple of double cork 10s and switch double 14s just to get those two rotations in because you kind of need a double 10 and the beginning of a switch 14 to make this trick happen because you have to open up on the second part of the trick in order to initiate the 1620. Later I was literally standing on top for like 10 minutes trying to visualize this trick and thought why not just go for it right now. As you just saw I landed it on my feet and I was actually quite surprised that I was able to get it around first try and that just showed me how much preparation I've already done in my head by visualizing this trick. And from there on I just continued practicing this trick so I can get safer whilst doing it. At this point, the glacier season has started here in Europe. I'm getting my first days in snow in, already feeling quite some pressure due to COVID-19. I'm constantly thinking about how the recent events are developing and the high possibility that they will shut down the resorts again. This means my only chance to hit bigger jumps is literally now, because if they shut down, the only next chance I can get is in spring, which is almost half a year away. So that would kind of suck. This is my second day on snow now, hitting the bigger jumps I was talking about earlier, just grooving myself in. I did a couple switch double 1080s, felt really good with them, and the idea of doing the 1620 on snow started to grow in my head. A couple weeks have passed now due to university and bad weather days. It's gotten really windy in the Alps and the time change was about to happen, which meant for the Hintertux Glacier to become cloaked by shadow like super early at around 11 a.m. already. That's like really a bummer. So we went up, it was quite stormy, people were decking the table left and right or sometimes overshooting it quite far. Speed management was really an issue, yet it was already clear to me that this is probably my last day where I can ski this jump to make my 1620 a reality. Just thinking about not doing it and to potentially wait for a new chance later this season gave me anxiety and sweats. I just couldn't wait anymore. I was just afraid of losing my rhythm and the ambition to chase this trick and find any excuses why I shouldn't do it anymore. So I warmed up with a dub 10 and then I just said to my body after, I gotta do it now, like right now. I know it's sketchy at the moment, but I couldn't live with me tr not trying it. I don't know. So I dropped my poles off, I usually do that when I'm trying something new and technical and just dropped in with a shit ton of butterflies in me. The conditions were messed up, the takeoff wasn't that poppy and the airtime was actually smaller than I practiced it on. Needless to say, I've pressured myself quite a bit. So you just saw I actually came around on my feet but I was kinda under-rotated because I, I was just lacking power on the takeoff. I wasn't able to just translate all the momentum I was trying to build up on the takeoff and transition it into a fluid spin. I've also missed my grab, which made it really hard to then continue this rotation because that grab is kind of your tool in order to tweak it and make it a 1620. And mid-air I was just trying to get it around on my feet and not get hurt. On my second attempt, I've got hit by a wind gust and it carried me way over to the point where I wanted to land just able to stop the rotation in time but not fully landed and had to swerve out but this attempt gave me the confidence that I was actually close to landing. This was the fifth try now, wind in my mind started to mess with me really hard but I was determined to push through. And yeah, I finally landed it. Missed the grab though which made me really mad up to this day but whatever. Regardless, I was happy to make it real from the back and now from now on I can actually work on getting it done way cleaner and snow.